and figure out how everything's going to break down. Thank you very much, gentlemen. It's time to head over to the commentators once again to head into Miramar. Hello, everybody, and yes, we are back. It is I, Porosaurus. It is he, Toby, and we've finally gotten everybody into the plane to head over to Miramar, where VP cannot possibly get killed in apartments again. You say that, <laughs> but <laughs> I, 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 I think they should be safe, at least, at least for today, bring multi-social gaming into things, and maybe there's going to be a bit of a fight brewing on Power Grid. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But welcome all to Miramar. The Sandy Dunes are here, and I wouldn't mm. expect to see too much hot drop action going on here. But having said that, everyone knows that I'm a big speaker of uh, anti-hot dropping. If there is a time to do it, now is the time. As I said in the first game today, Paro, the more chaos we see, and believe me, we've seen quite a bit of it, the more chaos we get in ranking position, the more smooth I feel or I expect to, uh, to see both re survival and finals sure, will sure. be. Get all the weirdness out of the way. We've, we've seen it so many times already, right? Where teams run into each other on the edge in situations where you go, why would you, like, why would you ever be here right now? And that's just, you know, multiple regions, multiple metas clashing and, uh, and, and, and kind of finding their way to work with one another. And uh, let's see where that first circle is going to take us. Will Chaos Brew or will it be fine? Well, chaos could easily brew on a circle like this. He's gonna push right oh. up. They're gonna find a Roger. That's a quick and easy knock there. Canaxi still down in the middle of the valley. He pulls out a grenade, but he gets spotted out. He's gonna do some damage before eventually going down. He will find Dante, but that will be a fairly easy res, I believe, here for Unique. But again, you can see all the teams here on the north side. Ghibli now getting involved, so maybe it won't be as easy a res. We saw it before. These are all the teams that were wrapping in from that west side. You called it in phase one, Poroto. So many more teams than usual trying to wrap in far west. They will be slower because of the terrain. And now, well, they're all here. Burry Ram up close. Only two players left alive. And they have all of Dano to deal with. Oh, Matulin's finding his way into the kill feed here. Is Edie going to try to hold off the push from Dano? Well, we'll find Rex. But look at this. God meow. Coming in from the alternate angle, gonna cause some damage here to Donawell. He'll get the flushes, he'll find Ooh. Salute, but Salute will kill him off, and that will be it for Buriram. We'll be able to get the res back onto Leklo unless. Oh, is Ibby gonna is, find an angle here? That is an open res. I Look at the tool in <laughs> I was gonna say, if there's a backstab that you wanna get, be mad as pro. If you can shoot that last out of a player while he's resing, that's. Uh, Something you would really want to be able to do. Leglo will be able to get the heels on off. They'll go for the vehicle, but where the hell do you drive from this situation? I'm not sure. It's There's not a lot of real estate that they can work with. I mean, you look at the, the mountains, the hills all around them. They're going to try to, it looks like, well, they wanted to go one direction. Now they're going back the other way. They're going to run right past Batulin's here. Batulin's going to take a few shots over towards Unique, I believe. Yeah, he got a doozy. So uh, the Rodanawa are going to manage to avoid getting stabbed in the back by the snake in the grass from Virtus Pro, but now they're going to be right on top of Team Liquid. The shot's coming through. Salute. Going to be the last one up as Clib. Yep, he'll clean that up. Donawa going out in 15th place. Solid double coming through. James hesitant uh -oh. on the rest, gets the kill, but now over the top, Clip goes down, and James hasn't got the rest yet. He's going to make a run for it down to the shack with no. the player on his back. Got to keep on running. Lampu over the top spots him. Those manage to get him down behind the ridge line. Those have Mexi to help, but I'm afraid Clip might be too far for them to get a rest on. Big shots coming out of Paige. They'll get Roth wiped as well. Sharp shot going to get spotted by Gen G. And just like that, SSG lose two in the rotation. They do keep two alive. Where are they going to stop? Looks like it'll be right here. They find a little bit of real estate that they can work with, a little bit of a ridge that they can hide behind. AAP, meanwhile, wrapping around back to the north. Batulans does get spotted by Dante. So that'll be Virtus Pro going out in, I believe that was 14th place. Let's see now. The NBA team's going up against one another, Code Marco. Oh. On his belly will be the first one to peek as Dante's shoot. Get around the corner. Just the moment. Spots one, spots him. Headshot, oh, double headshot spray. comes through. Marco takes him down, no hesitation. So Marco will. Oh, he almost wins it, but faultlessly comes out on top with 18 HP left to go. Code Marco not going to be rezzed. Matralius and Mert already down in the circle, and they're having to deal with Liquid. 
As Code Marco is bleeding out Mert now, the last player up for BBL. Looks like Faultlessly should be able to get this res onto Dante, and they should be able to make their way into the circle. Looks like Liquid still four up. They have not spotted this, but as you mentioned, this is just crazy terrain is. Yeah. up over here. You have no cover from above, and that's the main issue. Everyone sitting up high can do so incredibly much damage downhill, and that's what we're seeing right now. The teams downhill fighting one another with the teams above third fighting, and now the high ground team is going to start fighting one another as well. Mexi tries to peek on over, immediately falls back down the hill, and they actually did manage to clip, get clipped back up. I didn't think that was going to be possible with him being a little further away, but they do manage to keep all four alive, and now Liquid has to take the fight. At least you would assume to have to take the fight to Archangel, but Archangel, as I say that, they're going to back off, and now Aitzi up close with New Happy. And they're going to find the opening knock on a Zipion. He's going to find another one, but Ooh. no. Good shots coming out from Ming. Fex will immediately trade it back. Non going to take down uh, Fex as it's now a 2-2 trade. I believe they'll finish off Fex. Gustav, is he the last one up here? For yep. Where's the rest of the squad? Yeah, they're all down and dusted here as Gen G is wrapping around on the south side to creep up on the back side of this. They would love to be able to take out New Happy here. Not only would kills go their way, but that's a whole lot of space you would secure if you can wipe both these teams in this side of the circle. New Happy trying to get the rest smoke still in play. Gustav wants to do the same, but is well aware of their opponents everywhere, and he's a solo player. Only Aitzi is restable, but now Nate's starting to rain on in as well. Anon takes no time to hesitate. Asura goes down, gets the flush as well. Anon does manage to fight the flush and Aitzi, so it's just Gustav left alive for face clan. Oh, there you go, Esther trying to get involved here, and Onyx will find the knock with, onto ZPL with Grenade Ming. Still alive, they're gonna take out oh. Phase Non, very low. Esther gonna do some damage, but the Smoke Cloud still up, still keeping New Happy into this, as they are just nursing of slivers of health on both sides. Looks like one will be able to stop and get a heal off here. Is Esther gonna spot them? Gonna see the head, take the shot. Not gonna find it, get, get one, but gonna get traded wow. back as new happy staying alive new happy doing everything right and staying alive here. and you saw the circle just before fury are the back end they are the field stop on this one no one is on the eastern half of the circle we talked about how unplayable it really was before and here it shows fury is pretty much the only team currently inside the new circle and there's nothing to play to the east as long as there's a team above you you cannot play below unless Unless if you're new happy and you're able to wrap around here and Furry don't see you. So clearly a lot for all these teams to go back and read out. Oh, Ming knows exactly where what this is. If you can cook it well. Oh, oh my goodness. Hole in one. Strike out. Old is falls. And Ming adds another kill to the list. New happy making a statement here in the opening of PGC. As we see Nan and Ming. Seven kills in the bag already. The circle's going to go away from them. The, the focus from Liquid, and maybe there's a backstab opportunity. Let's see, James peeks on down. Oh, he, he is exposed on the hillside. He doesn't see him at all. James? Doesn't see him in the open. Glooms finds Mexi. Finally, the trade comes in, but damage has been done. Gems, do you retaliate or do you not? In the meantime, far down south, New Happy are still playing it slow, and Fury know they have people behind them. New Happy, I mean, all you can really do at this point is play it slow. Looks like now I'm going to try to push in a little bit while Fury's distracted. James gonna spot out gems and that'll do it for AAA. They go down, the res comes through, New Liquid back up to four. They've got a nice little ridge line to work with here. Fury yeah. needs to be worried about the backstab here Ooh. though as Nan's gonna find Ronan. How do they continue to succeed in these ba uh, uh, in these uh, battles? It's absolutely insane. They can push on forward after taking casualties, reset, and then take fights anew. Inside, peeks on over. No, it's approximate where Nana's 33 damage. But in the meantime, while this is going on in the lowlands, Liquid is taking full control of the high ground. It's being delivered. It's being delivered to Liquid from the teams below here. Mexi finds one. With the mini clip. Ooh. Is it cooked to perfection? Oh, just a bit outside as New Happy will get finished off by Liquid. And now it's just a matter of time. Looks like Flood still has that hard cover inside. Gonna take a few shots there, but Clib will finish him off. Flood down to next to no HP. Mexi gonna make sure he finishes that one off. And they know exactly where Flood is. 
if he gets a nade through that window, I'd be insanely impressed. Molly it off, try and throw a nade outside, see if you can somehow survive all the way through this. But there's so many angles. There's no way he gets out of their life. Nope, there James says Molly will do it. And back to back EMEA wins. Liquid secure this one. Solid play throughout the match to seal the deal in game number four.